What a do, Lemon Crew. So, uh, welcome to this Elder Scrolls Online complete walkthrough. Now, that means we are obviously completing the entire map. All of this. We're just going to complete everything. So, um, right now we're in solitude simply because uh, at the minute, with Greymore being the chapter, that's the kind of starting city, kind of. So, uh, it's not where we're going to start, because we're going to do it uh, starting off with the main story. So we are going to travel to Stone Falls, but first of all I'm just going to explain kind of what I've already got going on. So I've got this character here I've just created, so it's going to be a Dark Elf Nightblade, which is uh, obviously very nice. I have a very uh, nice champion point set up already, and I'm wearing full training gear, and I have sets for level 20 and level 30, I think it is, of the same trait gear and it's just it's not sets or anything it's just training and that should help me level up quite considerably without using up a bunch of experience scrolls for this walkthrough um so we're going to start off by traveling to davin's watch because obviously i am ebonheart packed because done my superiority and all that but yeah we're just going to start with the main story which is entirely solo content uh not particularly sort of to do with a lot of the zone stuff um, in terms of it it doesn't take place in many zones obviously because it's all solo areas pretty much pretty much it's all in Cold Harbor more, more or less and um, we are gonna we're gonna do the main story until the messages across Tamriel quest because that's when it sort of all m melts together all the base game content so uh, at that point, we are going to do the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild quests, which does remind me I do actually have to join those guilds to get the respective abilities. And there's our quest right there. We're not going to take it just yet, because we are going to join the guilds. Another thing we're going to do before we start the quest is get the Blade of War from the Dark Brotherhood quests, and that's because it's a very, very useful tool. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly run over to the Gold Coast and get the Blade of Woe. I think you, you get it just after you murk a civilian in Anvil, don't you? Oh, here to Anvil Way Shrine. This place is nice, but it's not a home. Feels like I'm hiding down here. People like us? We need powerful friends if we're gonna make people like us. Don't play coy. I see it in your eyes. You've killed people. Or you will. You've got the same urges as I do. Just between us, I hear the Dark Brotherhood is recruited. You never heard of Tamriel's most elite guild of assassins? Rumor has it that if you take an innocent life and they notice, they'll offer you a place in the Dark Brotherhood. There, killers are free to pursue their word of advice. Urges aside. The Dark Brotherhood prefers to keep a low profile. Just remember, kill an innocent, get noticed. My sources say that get noticed. A low profile. I'll sure. The docks if you want to talk some more. Stop. Ah. This is all just one. Thing. You know, just Excellent. just as I was about to say, the guards didn't catch me. Leave the city. They uh. I get accosted. You there. Wait for a moment, if you would. I don't know what run into is, okay? I've been looking for you. Not me. But I have something for you. A letter. Confidential. Private. I have it here somewhere. Ah yes, here it is. Interesting. I'm also supposed to extend a verbal invitation to visit the lighthouse. Odd that they didn't just put that in the letter. Yes, the Anvil Lighthouse, just up the way. The sender ordered me to direct you there after I handed over the letter. I'm glad I found you. After looking for the woman with the eye patch all day, I figured I was in for late. Emily Crow? Do you know her? I gave her a letter right there on the Anvil docks. I have no idea where she went in such a hurry, but she seemed excited to receive it. Anyway. Come closer and let me look into your eyes. No remorse, no mercy. Yes, you do have the eyes of a killer. 
How many lives ended? I am a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. I speak with the voice of the Night Mother. I act with the hands of our dread father. As well you should. I am certain you have questions, but first, we must determine if you are worthy of joining the Dark Brotherhood. You take lives easily. Splendid. We shall the tool. See how well the tool of the trade. With death. That's what we're here for. But first, allow me to present you with a gift. I shall teach you how to call upon a tool for dealing death, of course. One forged by I feel like the hands. voice actor option for Speaker Tyrannus wasn't wasn't the best option, you know, the Vanus Galarian voice. I feel like this, he sounds too too friendly. He, you, you just want to be friends with him. I suppose his tone of voice is different, but... You know. Come to think of it, he doesn't even have an Imperial accent. Uh, Imperials normally have a more American accent, don't they? Fine, Jarol. Kill him. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. So obviously we'll come to that when we come to do the Dark Brotherhood quests. And back to Stonefalls, where we will meet our friend, the Hooded Figure. Here you are. Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter. My benefactor awaits nearby. I think I'm going to try my best to avoid spoilers for those of you watching that haven't actually played the the whole game. So this is the benefactor. Oh. Good ciao. You know, I wish they did more cutscenes like this. This is a very, very enjoyable experience. Right? Granted, I don't say something that's going to get me put in prison. That will be okay. Whoa there! Are you all right? The name's Lyris. Good morning, Lyris. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. I rate that swing. I rate that swing. Dead. Must have been the runt of the litter. Uh, I remember back in back in the old days when when this was the tutorial. Oh, I, I, I just tried to use the ambush ability, but obviously I can't do that. Why is it right? Okay. Because the, the mechanics for that fight are always a bit dodgy, considering the fact that obviously this used to be the tutorial. You know, the attention to detail in some of these zones is insane. Some things you just don't even ever notice. my friend the prophet greetings resident like you i am a prisoner in this place you must rescue me and i in turn must rescue you hold a moment come here we need to talk the 
prophet. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only... These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Val to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us... I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for any... I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. Alright, I was gonna, I was gonna see if I could ask her why she knew all that, but apparently Lyris is just a genius. Ah, poor fella, poor fella. Might as well play some effects on him, considering my DPS is currently shocking. Is there a fire enchantment on this? No. Hmm, odd. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Free. The god of schemes can see every part of Cold Harbor. We need to distract him. Here's the bit where we find uh, all of our friends running around the abyss of Cold Harbor. Ah yes, you have chosen the Dunmer. I approve. Right, we sneak. Oh, I spin around, man. That's it. Good job. What you did? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was an enemy. I suppose you are going to find uh, lots of new players around here. Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. Good old Cadwell. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually... Ah, yes, there we are. Ah, you know what I really wish you could do? I wish you could sit and speak to him, but obviously you can't. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? I never noticed that that lock has a 100% force. Only just crossed my mind to even check that. Beautiful. We will 
they're all the same value. I'll just take these. I think we're gonna go with this one to start with. Who taught that one to fight? A god of self punishment? Unfortunately, there is nobody left at your jog other than yourself. So I can't applaud that. I can't applaud that. Now we haven't much time. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever... Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. To be fair, for a blind man, he's uh, pretty decent as f finding his way around, isn't he? Right then. Yes, true. There is that at least. There is sacrificed everything that we might go for. Wish that were possible. But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to risk. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost, even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return. Up the stairs, quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. The Bone Colossus. Nope, that's more like Ball. The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chest. That's the Bone Colossus. Come, I will protect you. This portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do a shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly. Collect the ah, sky so shard. we do actually get the Sky Shard piece from this quest. Great Couldn't quite remember if we did. God of time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molag Val be denied! Hurry! We must go now! We. Oui. Uh, 
And here we end up on Bleak Rock Isle. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the sounds of a distant battle. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds weeks, that's one hell of a sleep. Sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea. Deposited into the sea. You out and you to dry land. I love, I love, I love the I choice of words there. That for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Merlot. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much. Hmm. I already had that. I feel like that's Beware probably something they need to fix. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Ball looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you. You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Indeed, I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Bal, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. So that's the whole introduction thing. And now we are set out into the world of Tamriel. And uh, we will meet the Prophet again. But now is not the time. Thank you for watching the first installment of this series. Please invite the like button to dinner and poisoning soup with arsenic. Also subscribe if you want. If you watch the next episode, there will be cake.